Hello and welcome back to my channel my friends and welcome to this week's Fun Friday Finds. So there we go. So let's have a quick look at the layouts that I got done this week. I had a fairly good week in, in the scrap room. I'm finding though as off the board is continuing this month. I wasn't quite as far ahead as I wanted to be. So I'm now sort of scrapping a little bit more as I go. I generally tend to catch up a little bit more on the weekends, thankfully. And this weekend I do have a fairly uh, quiet uh, weekend, only uh, one day of mum duty tomorrow on Saturday, and it will be for just part of the day. I have quite a few chores going on. I'm into one of those um, spring cleaning, summer cleaning frenzies. Anyway, but I, I will be getting quite a bit of scrappy time. So you will have noticed that I did not have uh, an off the board up yesterday. I do have one today. Of course, uh, it was a little bit late, but I will then catch up and have two. I think it will be Sunday because I think I'm going to do, uh, of course, we have our sketch Sunday and then Sunday is also the 25th, so Christmas in July. And I think I'm going to do two separate layouts for that. Um, I'm definitely still trying to get two more page kits done for build a page and integrate that in more likely than more likely than I probably that will be tomorrow and Sunday. Anyway, just a frenzy, frenzy, frenzy of activity. So thank you so, so much for being here uh, on this ride with me. I love, love, love sharing with you. I love reading all your comments. I feel very blessed to have such, to be part of such a wonderful and lovely community. So this week, uh, this was for Stretch the Sketch. Everything here, of course, has a video, so uh, I won't spend too, too much time going on, but I both shrunk and stretched in that I stretched the sketch to a two-page layout, but I shrunk the format to a six by eight, so this will be going in my Me, Myself, and I album. Then this was on Saturday when I was scrap lifting my lovely friend Jojo, Jojo Kelly, and she is Kelly Beach Girl 64 or Kelly Girl Beach 64. Ugh. Anyway, go back to that video and you'll find it. And I've linked it down in that video as well. And her layout is up in the corner there. It was a gorgeous, gorgeous layout. I got a nod to my new bramble fox obsession and of course my flair for dotty about flair so the count we had last week i think was nine flair on five layouts let's see where we go this week then we have this one which was for the spiegel mom scraps design team and these fun 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 sunbursts i loved doing this one and it is another photo of my lovely Julia's high school graduation with her sister. Um, then on Monday, it was Mood Board Monday for Off the Board. And this was one of my Build a Page uh, kits, of course. And I use the Mood Board. And this is the uh, Happy Blooms from Pink Fresh. Then... Um, on Tuesday, what did I do? On, on Tuesday, I used a pin um, from sort of my hobby in weaving um, board, a build a page layout, and I got a gorgeous sketch, the sketch done from week six of the collective, the lovely, lovely class by my friend Shannon. She's crafty, and the sketch needed to be done. I changed my entire idea about this layout as soon as I saw that sketch and I love 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 this layout this one was also for build a page and it was a quilt pattern pin and the starting point for this page kit was using scraps so I got this one done and then this one you just saw a few moments ago or an hour or so ago and this one was using a color combo pin for today. Um, 
breaking into my lovely bramble fox as well. So this week we got one, two, three, four, five, six, 12 by 12 layouts and a six by eight. And we got flare. We have one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, and nine. So we got nine again this week. So there we go. So at least I really am getting at least one flare per layout, which is one of the fun challenges going on in um, the Dottie About Flare group. It's still July. The celebrations are still going on all month long. Yesterday, there was this really, really cool live doing an accordion fold mini album in the easiest possible way. One that I think I can do. Um, so there's all sorts. There's lives, there's challenges, there's, there's just tons and tons of stuff going on throughout July. So if you want to play and you have time and you're not in the Dottie About Flare Facebook group, go on over there. There was a Bramble Fox uh, collaboration this week as well with a sketch, and that was going on in both Facebook groups, just all sorts of fun. So that was this week, and then my fun find for this week is a little bit of a haul. Now, I'm just going to spend a couple of minutes showing you this a little bit because I'm going to do a proper haul for this and do some swatching, but I received my first ever Brutus Monroe um, Brutus Monroe order and I got three types of glaze I think and these were all recommended by um, my lovely friend Rebecca Rebecca Lockhart uh, here on YouTube and I used her of course her affiliate link to get there and then she also gave me some suggestions of colors, but I had gotten a couple of suggestions from one of my lovely friends from Sarah Scraps on one of her YouTube membership lives where she used chroma glaze in this lovely daffodil and sea foam. So I got three chroma glaze, two velveteen glaze, and three glitter glazes. And they sent this fun little pack of sequins. Now, of course, you know, I use Spiegel Mom scrap sequins all the time, but I still think that is a lovely little gesture. Now, I'm just going to show you here quickly from underneath the colors, and then I will come back and I will do a proper haul for you within the next couple of days where I actually swatch them out. So the Chroma Glaze, I got this gorgeous sea foam. Isn't that a beautiful, beautiful color? And I got Chroma Glaze in Daffodil as well. And I got Chroma Glaze in Sherbert. So these are three colors that Sarah used in her live. And uh, Rebecca had used them in a couple of projects as well. Then I got some Velveteen Glaze in two colors, Pink Flamingo and Midnight Indigo. And these I got from one of the projects that Rebecca was working on for one of her classes, and she used these two. So now, Midnight Indigo, I was kind of hoping that it was going to be a little closer to navy it's a lot more of a royal sky blue but we'll see when we swatch it it's a lovely blue regardless but i i wouldn't really call it midnight i wouldn't call it midnight indigo for sure and then this though is very very true to its color the pink the pink flamingo that is definitely true to its color and then the Glitter Glaze, as the name implies, is beautiful and glittery. And I got that in Periwinkle. Now, you see, to me, this is closer to navy. I think I would have reversed these two names. But anyway, this is gorgeous. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous blue. 
This is called apricot, which I find a little dark for apricot, but it's a beautiful, beautiful coppery orangey color. And then this one, which aptly is called grape. So there you go, three types of Brutus Monroe glazes. Um, also, my lovely friend uh, Sandy uh, from Scrapping Reflection, she is also on their design team as well as Rebecca, and she does a lot of gorgeousness with this as well. So come back if you want to see a little bit more about this. Leave me any questions you might have down below. Uh, I will come and link the haul and swatching video to this video when I've had a chance to get it done. So there you go, my friends. Happy Friday to you all. I hope you have a, you are looking forward to a wonderful summery weekend. I hope you get some scrappy time and I hope you get some outdoor time if it's beautiful weather wherever you are. Let me know. What are you up to this weekend? Bye for now, my friends. Thanks for being here.